In this video, we are going to learn how to use the My Calls calendar in SalesEye. As you know, to input a call history note for an account, we find that account. And then we go to that account's record card under Call History Notes and add a new note. When you're adding a new note, you have the option to select a follow-up call date and time by checking this box. If you check this box, a follow-up call will be added to your My Calls calendar for this date and time. If this box is not checked, then no meeting will be added to your calendar for a follow-up call. By the same token, if you want the meeting you had today to show up in your calendar if it is not already, you can change the follow-up call date to match your actual call date, and then you will be able to reference your calendar to see when your meetings took place without having to go to call history notes. Let's go to the My Calls calendar and explore the other way to add appointments to your calendar. If we go to the calendar, we can add a call or double click on the day we want to add. You need to input your customer. And here you will type in the same information as if you were entering a call history note directly into the record card. Again, you will see this follow up call box. If you are trying to input your appointments directly into your calendar, you want the follow up call date and your actual call date that you're inputting to match. You do this by clicking on the calendar icon next to the follow-up call date. So now, if I add this note to my calendar, it is going to show as an appointment that I have on 822, rather than me scheduling a follow-up call based on a past date. Let me type in a note here. Okay, so let's say I had this meeting at 9.45, which is about the time it is right now. This call is now shown as an appointment. So you can use the My Calls calendar for follow-ups to call history notes you are currently entering, or you can use this to plan future meetings. If you are trying to put an appointment in, on the day that it actually is, just to track and see visually in your calendar, then just make sure that you have the follow-up call date to match your actual call date. If you do not change the follow-up call date, it is going to default to 10 days after your call date as a follow-up call. So make sure to change these dates if you're trying to use your calendar as a visual appointment list rather than just for follow-up calls. 